everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's have a little look through our cosminoculars, thumbs and fingers together, and see what our adventure is about today. Have a look through. <gasps> wow. Can you see that? That looks amazing. All those colours, those shapes. Cool. It's a stick. Just a stick. Oh no, hang on. It's a sting insect. It's Stella the stick insect. She's doing yoga. She's doing eagle pose. Wow, this is great. We're off to the park today to go and find Stella the stick insect. Let's begin our story lying in our beds. Lying all the way down. Make your body nice and long and relaxed. And we're going to pretend that it's a Saturday morning. Ah, bliss. We wake up and we stretch our arms and our legs. Oh. We come up to sit, crossing our legs and stretch again. Oh. Then we stand up and we fold all the way forwards, reaching our arms forwards to draw the curtains. Shh. Oh, it's a bit rainy today. Let's have a shower in the rain. Standing up, we pitter-patter all over our heads, that rain. All over our bodies and our arms. All over our tummies and our legs. Oh dear, we're getting a bit wet in this rain. So we rub ourselves dry using our hands. That's better. Time to go downstairs and have some breakfast. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. We sit down with our legs crossed and we reach up to get the biggest pot, bringing it all the way down in front of us. Now we're going to make some porridge. So we take our hand across to our knee and twist around to get our porridge oats. Here they are. Let's shake them in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Take your other hand across to your other knee and twist the other way. This time we need to get some milk. So we get our milk and we pour it in the pot. There we go. Now we need to stir it. So we take our legs out wide and we take hold of our stirring stick and we stir it, stir it. Stir it. We put that stirring stick down and we take our other stirring stick and we stir the other way. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Oh, it's ready. We cross our legs. We fold forwards, keeping our bottoms planted on the floor and then we eat up our porridge. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. We sit up nice and tall and we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Oh, so, so clever. It's time to go. So we come up to two knees, we take our arms out wide and we give everyone at home a great big hug. Bye. Time to open up the door. We take our leg out to the side, our arm up to the sky and we fold down to the side. Opening the door. Then we close it behind us, two knees together, leg out to the other side, arm up to the sky and close the door. Ooh. Time to get on our bicycles. We lie on our backs and we crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lifting up our legs. Then we have to pedal really slowly as we go up the hill. Oh, it's quite hard. Oh, now we're going down the hill. So we go really, really fast. <laughs> we arrive at the park. Let's go on the swings. We stand up and we bend our knees. We reach our arms up high. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! 
and up. And again, one, two, three, whee! And up. This is great, but shall we go on the slide? Yeah, come on. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take your hands behind you, point your fingers in towards your bottom. Ready to go on the slide, ready? That was brilliant fun. Now, we see a little lake. Drawing the soles of your feet together, make a big diamond shape with your legs. On this lake, there is a tiny little boat. Turning yourself around, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands, and give me a wave. Hi! We row this little boat across the lake, legs out long, take hold of your oar and row. Let's sing our row, row, row your boat song, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone. Shall we, shall we answer? Hello? Oh, there's going to be a bug ball tonight. Ooh, we're invited. Mm, yes, we'd love to come. OK, yeah, see you in a minute. Bye. We put the phone down and we row with the other oar. Picking it up, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. What's the phone again? Can we answer this one? Hello? It's Stella the stick insect. Hi, Stella. Oh, you're in a bit of a pickle. Oh, all right then. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah, we'll help. Righto. OK, bye. We put the phone down. Poor Stella, she's in a bit of a pickle. When we get to the banks of the lake, we take big squadgy mud walks. Standing up, coming to the side, ready for a big squadgy walk. Squadge! And back. And again. Squadge! We come to a clearing. This must be where the ball's happening. We find all of the bees tuning up. Crossing your legs, take your fingers and see if you can close your ears and go... Like a bee tuning up to play its musical instrument tonight. All around we can see beautiful butterflies. They're going to be doing the decorations for tonight. Drawing the soles of your feet together, hold onto your toes and flutter your butterfly wings. There are also lots of rather wonderful caterpillars wiggling around. Coming onto your bellies, everybody. Hands underneath your shoulders, point your toes back. Oh, yes. I'm just trying out all of the leaves to check that they're going to be tasty for tonight. Mmm, these are really good. Mm. Oh, it's good we've got the caterpillars doing the catering. Next we see the grasshoppers in the hopper hair salon having their wings trimmed and highlighted. Laying all the way down on your belly, take your arms out wide, bend up one foot and press it to the sky. Then see if you can use your other foot to hoist it up. Yeah, Sharon, I was just saying, that Stella the Stick Insect, she's in a bit of a flap at the moment. <gasps> we hear this and we wonder where Stella is. Swapping your legs all the way over now, lift up your other foot, press it to the sky and hoist it up. Oh yeah, Stella, she's over on that broken branch. Go see her. <gasps> we put our foot down and we roll over onto our backs. We take our arms out wide and we lift up our legs. Then we take our legs over to one side and our head over to the other, making a broken branch. We look all over this broken branch trying to find where Stella is. Where is she? See if you can take your legs up and over to the other side now and take your head round to the other side. All of a sudden, we hear a... <laughs> we sit up. And we look really carefully and sure enough we can see her but it's very hard to see Stella when she's sitting on a branch because she looks a bit like a branch but now she's crying we can hear her there she is poor Stella 
coming up onto two knees. Take your leg out to the side and take your arm down to the side beside you. Reach up with your top arm, up and over your ear, coming into your stick insect pose. Oh, it's awful. There's no point in me going to the ball because nobody can see me. I'm always camouflaged by everything. Coming to your knees. Oh, Stella. When you go to a party, you should wear really nice, bright party clothes, then everyone will see you. Stella thinks this is a great idea, but we need to do a bit of a wash. So we cross our legs and we bring our hands back behind our heads and we wash Stella's best party clothes. Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, wisha, woo! Then we dry them in our special tumble dryer, bringing your fingers in front of your mouth and blow. Now Stella pops them on and shows them off. Coming up to two knees, arms out wide, drop down onto the other side, take your leg out to the side and stretch your top arm up and over your ear. Oh, I feel all right now. Shall we go? Yes, and there is only one way to arrive at the bug ball and that is in style, in a lady bug limo. Coming to your knees, Fold all the way forwards. Now, crisscross your fingers and rest them on the base of your back. Now lift and lower your elbows like a little ladybird. We arrive at the party. Sitting up, it's in full swing. Everybody's dancing. Stella stands and stiffens up. Um, the problem is I'm really good at copying everybody else because I'm a stick insect. But I'm not very good at dancing, just being myself, being natural. Oh, Stella, you'll be fine. Go on, go and have fun. You'll find your groove. But sure enough, Stella's not very good at just dancing as herself. She just copies everyone else. First, she copies the termites doing the twist. Jump your feet wide and twist. Then she copies the caterpillars doing the caterpillar dance. Coming down onto hands and knees. Press up into your dog pose. Come down to your knees, drop down to your belly. Roll your shoulders up like a caterpillar. Try it again, come back to your knees, tuck your toes, up to your dog. Back to your knees, down to your belly and up like a caterpillar. Then she copies the beetles. They're on their backs doing some beatbox dancing. Coming up onto your bottoms, lying down on your back. Now, reach up and see if you can grab your feet. The beetles are having a great time wiggling around, doing their beatbox. Stella is very good at copying them all. Yes, she would be so good if she could just dance naturally, be herself, find her own way of tuning into the music. We decide to have a little rest and have a drink. We have some firefly fizz. Now we make a straw with our tongues curling up the sides like this. And we take a big suck in. Mmm, delicious. Now, if you can't do that curling up with the sides thing, do this instead. Mmm, <sighs> so refreshing and cool in our mouths. <gasps> All of a sudden, landing in front of us is a fairy god praying mantis. Coming up into a squat position, everyone. Sitting right the way back on your heels, taking your elbows inside your legs, joining your hands together like a fairy god praying mantis. Dearest Stella, wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others, let your light shine through. And with that, the fairy god praying mantis launches itself into the night. Ready for a jump? One, two, three, Whee! Oh my goodness me, that was awesome. 
and it seems to have really spoken to Stella. She feels ready to show what she can do. She comes to the dance floor, takes her position, takes her leg out to the side and her stick insect arm to the ground. Then she waves her antennae around and around and she puts her leg forward and bows to the ground. She comes on up to the other side, arms up wide down to the ground and leg up and long. She waves it around and around and around before she puts her leg front and to the ground. Stella is amazing when she dances and she's herself. She's captivating. Her confidence radiates. It's wonderful to see. Here comes Steve the spider, standing up, legs a little bit wider, bend your knees and make your fingers like spiders. Then bring them inside your feet, take them around the back and around the side and sit down. Um, I wondered, um, Stella, <clears throat> he's a bit shy, um, could I, uh, could I ask, can I dance with you, Stella? Stella comes to her knees. She opens her arms wide and she beams Steve her biggest stick insect smile, giving him a great big hug. Oh, yes, Steve, let's dance the night away. We'd better leave these two love bugs alone. So we sit back and we blow them a kiss. We hop on the back of the ladybug limo, folding all the way down, crisscrossing our fingers at the base of our spine and lifting and lowering our elbows like ladybug wings. Then we find our bicycles back at the park, lying on our backs. We crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lift our legs to the sky and we pedal slowly first up the hill. Ooh, it's quite hard. And then, oh, really fast as we go down the hill. Wow, look everyone, it's really dark. So we stand up and we tiptoe, 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 tiptoe inside, back into our bedrooms where we lie down. Ah, oh, blissfully in our beds. Oh, that feels nice. All snuggled up and comfy and cosy, lying in our beds. As we lie down, we remember the words of the fairy god praying mantis. Wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others. Let your light shine through. As we remember these words, these wise words, we think about the light inside of us. What colour is your light? Maybe you can close your eyes and see it now. As we feel that light inside of us, we know that when we are just being ourselves, that light shines brightly. It fills us with warmth. And wherever we go, we need never be afraid of what people think because we are just being completely ourselves. Feeling that light inside you now, let's bring ourselves back, breathing into it. wiggling our fingers and our toes. We give our knees a hug and we roll onto our sides, slowly coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three, Namaste.
Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to see Stella the Stick Insect with me and for coming to the Bug Ball. That was great fun. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Don't forget to join me on Saturday morning for Saturday morning yoga. Get everyone at home together and enjoy some family time. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one. I'll see you Saturday. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now let's look through the cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Ooh, look at their colours and the shapes all spinning around and around. Can you see the picture? Yes, look, it's an ant. It's Arnold the ant. What's Arnold doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing crabs pose. Oh, Arnold, as you can see, is an ant. Let's try an ant pose. Coming onto your knees, everybody. Put your elbows down in front of you and cup your chin in your hands in your ant pose. Now, Arnold lives in a tree. Coming up to stand in tree pose. Bring one foot on top of the other, your hands together and grow your tree up nice and tall. Now Arnold's tree is a special tree. It's an apple tree. Try the other foot now, swapping the other side, bringing your heel on top, your hands together, growing up tall. And can you open your branches and wiggle your fingers like you've got lots of apples dangling? Well done! Now Arnold lives in one of the apples on this apple tree. Now Arnold has a dream, a big dream. He wishes to be an astronaut. He wants to fly in space, to zoom around the moon, joining your feet together, hands above your head and lean over to one way, making a moon shape, and over to the other way, making a moon shape. He wishes to fly in a rocket. Point your hands up high and jump your feet wide. Oh, to fly in space around the planets would be an amazing, awesome adventure. But how will Arnold ever make it into space? Back in his ant pose, down on his knees, elbows in front, cupping his chin, Arnold sighs a big sigh. <sighs> it's autumn and the wind blows the leaves from the trees. Coming up to sit with your knees, hands down in the middle, lifting up as you breathe in. And breathing out as you lower down. All of the little animals start to hibernate, tucking yourself all the way down, preparing themselves for the winter. And coming up to sit, because all of the ripe, juicy apples start falling to the ground. Arnold's apple comes tumbling down and rolls along the ground. Sitting on your bottoms, hug your knees and squash your chin down like you're squashing a tomato. Now rock all the way back and all the way up. Whoop. Ooh. He rolls and he rolls. Whoop. Ooh. So much so that he gets very dizzy. It feels like a washing machine inside that apple. Crisscross your fingers, put them behind your head, and let's go a spinning. Wishy washy, wishy washy, wishy washy woo. Wishy washy, wishy washy, wishy washy woo. Oh, poor Arnold. But 
his apple lands at the feet of a little girl called Angela. Coming up to stand, Angela folds all the way forwards and she picks up the beautiful, juicy, ripe apple that Arnold is inside. Mmm, I'm going to give this to my daddy. And she runs, run, 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 all the way back to her house. Jump your feet wide, hands above your head. Now, Angela's daddy is inside, packing a suitcase for a work trip. Coming down to sit, legs out long, bend your knees and touch your toes. He opens the lid of the suitcase, Oop. arms wide, he twists one way to get his anorak. Here it is, wraps it up Ooh. and pops it in. Ooh. He takes his arms wide and he twists the other way to get some ankle socks. Here's one and here's the other. Oop. Whoop. Then he lifts his arms and he closes his suitcase. Ooh. Angela gives her daddy a great big hug. Oh, daddy, I'm going to miss you. And she gives her daddy the apple, which has Arnold inside as a present to take with him. Oh, honey, thank you so much. But you don't need to miss me. I'll be calling you on the telephone. He picks up his telephone and he shows her, you see? And putting the telephone down, I'll be watching down on you. Bring your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. I'll be watching down on you, my darling, from the space station, where I'll be up in space doing all of my space duties, being an astronaut. Arnold, who is still inside the apple, rubs his ears. Did he hear that right? Did Angela's daddy just say that he was an astronaut and he was going up into space and that he was going to take Arnold the ant with him in the apple? Yes! Arnold's dream is coming true! He crosses his legs, brings his hands together at his heart and closes his eyes and he sends Angela the biggest namaste to thank her. One. Two, three, namaste. Arnold settles down in his apple, lying himself down. He can barely contain his excitement, but he closes his eyes and he prepares himself for the ride of his life. Now Arnold is a little ant with a big dream. And dreaming is so important. Without a dream, nothing will ever happen. And you can dream to be or to do whatever you wish to do or be. If you can dream it, you can be it. So dream big, like Arnold. And your dreams may come true. We lie still, imagining what our dream is, enjoying making it happen in our mind. We see Arnold up in space, in the rocket, flying around the moon as he always wished. And now it's time to wake up. We wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees to our chest and give them a hug. We roll onto our side and we come up to sit with our legs crossed, our eyes open and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three, one, Two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Arnold the Ant adventure. You were great. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Hello, 
everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way, by crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts. We then bend our knees and sit down on our bottoms. And we say the secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we're off to meet Enzo, the bee. Now can you tell me what do bees make? Yes, honey, you're right. So we're going to start by making a honey sandwich. Let's put our legs out nice and long and butter our bread. Ready? Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. A bit more. Butter, butter, butter. Now we're going to take our arms out nice and wide. We're going to twist round this way and we're going to get our mmm honey. We're going to spread it, spread it, spread it. Oh, that looks lovely. Now take your arms out nice and wide again and twist around the other way. Let's get another slice of bread and let's pop it on top of our sandwich, bending our knees if we need to. Ooh, lovely. Now it's springtime, so let's stand up. Let's bend all the way forwards and let's reach down and lift up the window. Ooh. Wow! Here comes the Bumble Fairy. Let's lean all the way forward and she's fluttering her Bumble Fairy wings. Wow! She blows us with her Bumble Fairy magic pollen. <sighs> all of a sudden we start to grow one, then two long antennae out of our heads. Our bodies become all fuzzy and furry with black and yellow stripes. We've got bzz, 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 two little wings on the side of our body and oh, jump your feet wide, clasp your hands behind your back. We've got our very own sting leaning all the way forwards. Sting! Wow, we've been magicked into a bee. Let's buzz off and go and find Enzo. Ready? Bzzz. Now Enzo lives in a bee's nest. Coming onto your tummies, take your feet towards your bottoms. Reach around with one hand and reach around with the other and kick your feet into your hands and breathe in and breathe out. Now Enzo's bees nest is a very busy place. He shares it with 5,000 other bees. Oh my goodness is it busy. Sitting up, let's cross our legs and let's put our fingers in our ears and hum. Hmm. Now all of the bees are preparing for the upcoming honey competition. Queen Bee Zena is going to be judging and the winner gets to be Queen Bee Zena's king. Everyone wants to be Queen Bee Zena's king, but none more so than Enzo. He has loved Queen Bee Zena for the whole of his life. He really wants to win. The next morning, he wakes up and stretches his antennae. He wiggles forward onto your tummy, hands underneath your shoulders and lift yourself up and decides that today he's going to go to the meadow and get the best pollen he can for his honey. But it's dangerous. He's going to meet some scary creatures on the way. He'll take some of his honey to give them instead of eating him. Hopefully it'll work. Time to go. Tuck your toes, lift your bottom up to the sky and walk your feet towards your hands. Standing up tall, he's at the larvae launch pad and he's going to take three big bee breaths before he sets off. Crisscross your fingers underneath your chin. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Last time. Big breath in. Big breath out. 
he puts on his protective bug eyes, putting your finger and forefinger together and put them over your eyes. And he gets his wings ready. And he buzzes off. Flying over fields of heather and clover and lavender, he stops for a rest at a tree. Putting one foot on top of the other, bring your hands together at your heart. Now grow your tree up tall and I wonder, how strong are you feeling today? Can I blow you down? Let me have a go. You stay still and I'll try. <sighs> oh my goodness! You're still standing up. You're an amazing tree. Let's try it on the other side. Taking the other foot on top now and bringing your hands together at your heart again. Grow your tree up tall and can you count to five? Let's have a try, ready? One, two, three, four, five! Yay, we did it! Well done everyone! But all of a sudden, there's a scary bird. Jump your feet wide, take hold of your shoulders and he tweets hungrily at Enzo. Hey you bee, what you doing in my tree? Oh, Enzo doesn't know what to say. He says, Oh, hello. I was just heading to the meadow to get some nice flowers for my honey. Would you like to try some honey? The bird looks at Enzo and says, Mmm, yes, please. Enzo takes some of the honey from his backpack and he pops it in front of the bird. And then he buzzes off really fast. Phew! He gets himself to the lake. Sitting down, put your legs out really wide. And there are lots of beautiful flowers around this, way, this, this lake, which Enzo loves. He looks over at these flowers. Oh, so pretty. And he looks over at these flowers. Oh, gorgeous flowers. He decides to pop in a few and get some of their lovely pollen. Jumping into the first flower. <laughs> Jumping into the second flower. <laughs> jumping into the third flower and when he jumps out of the third flower he's faced with a dragonfly oh no coming onto your tummies lay yourself down and long lift up one of your legs and push it to the sky then use your other foot to hoist it up wow what a beautiful dragonfly you are now Enzo says very quickly hello I was just checking that these flowers are safe for dragonflies and I'm glad to say they are. The dragonfly looks a bit confused, lying back down on your tummy, this time lift the other leg, push it to the sky and twist it up. He says, oh so you must be the safety bee mate, you are doing a great job checking those flowers for us dragonflies, thanks, bye. And he buzzes off. Phew! Enzo saved the day again. He heads up the mountain, jump your feet wide, and buzz, all the way up to the top. It gets very windy at the top of the mountain and it starts to swish and sway and swish and sway Enzo all over the place. So he huddles up buzz, into a little nook in the mountain. But oh no, he nuzzles up right into her. Spider's web! Ah! And here comes the spider. Take your feet wide, bend your knees and ticker, 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 ticker your hands round to the outside because this spider looks at Enzo and licks her lips. Mmm! She's got a very tasty bee lunch ahead of her. Enzo thinks quickly again. Oh, please don't eat me. I'm on my way to the meadow. I want to make the best honey I can for my queen bee, Zena. The spider, taking her little legs out again, melts with her heart and says, Oh, you romantic little devil, you. Let me help you with that. I'll try your honey and you get yourself to the meadow. Enzo snips himself free. Snip! Boing! And he gives the spider some of his honey. She tries it. 
Oh, it's very good. But you get to that meadow, get yourself some more flowers. You can come through the secret tunnel. The secret tunnel? Brilliant! Put your hands down, put your feet down, lift your bottom up to the sky and Enzo wiggles all the way through on his tummy. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. He arrives in the beautiful meadow. It's the most amazing place he's ever been to for flowers. It's hopping with bunnies. Lift your bottom up and see if you can hop, hop, hop your legs up. There are also some rather lovely butterflies fluttering their butterfly wings. Flutter, 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 flutter. Enzo wastes no time and begins hopping in all the flowers. as much as he can and then he buzzes off all the way home. He arrives back at the nest and goes straight to the honey kitchen. Sitting down, put your legs out wide. He gets the honey pot in front of him and sprinkles in the lovely pollen from the flowers in the meadow. Then he takes his honey spoon and he stirs it, stirs it, stirs it. He then stirs it with the other one as well, just for luck. Stirs it, stirs it, stirs it. It's ready and he presents it to Queen Bee Zena. Crossing your legs, lift up your honey and hold it high. Queen Bee Zena tries all of the honeys. The first honey. Mmm, that's a nice honey. The second honey. That's quite a nice one too. What about this one? She says, looking at Enzo's. On trying it, her eyes close. Her antennae float up into the air and she begins to float up into the sky. She whirls around in a funny circle before saying, I love it. She is indeed in love with Enzo's honey and as a result in love with Enzo. Enzo's done it! He becomes Queen Zena's king! All of the swarm of bees hum their congratulations. Stick your fingers in your ears and hum! What an amazing thing Enzo has achieved. He was determined to make his honey the best and he was courageous enough to go a bit further than everyone else. What a lovely story. And it's time to rest our little bee bodies now by lying ourselves down. We take our bodies back and we close our eyes. Maybe we can pretend we're back in that beautiful meadow where all of the flowers and the grass and the bunnies and the butterflies live together. What an amazing story. How Enzo went on his adventure. It helps us realise that maybe when we try new things, we'll do a little bit better as well. It's good to try new things because when you do, you feel really proud for having done it. Let's start to wake up again now. We wiggle our fingers and we wiggle our toes. We stretch our bodies up long and we bring our knees into our chest. We roll over onto our side and we come up to sitting with our legs crossed and our hands together at our heart, just like we started. And we finish with the same word, Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. You were brilliant, bees. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. <laughs>
spider pose. Taking your feet a little bit wider, bending your knees. Now take your hands in between your feet and walk your fingers round the backs of your feet like they're spiders, so that they sit on the outsides. Now shuffle your feet in towards each other so that your big toes come to touch. Crouching your legs over your upper arms so that you're strengthening your arms and opening your hips. That's what spider pose is very good for. What's that? There's a spider? Where? What? There isn't any spiders there. You're having a laugh. Oh, you're so funny trying to wind me up with the spider. What? Well, there's another one. Where? No, there isn't. There aren't any spiders in here. Oh, dear. You're very, very funny. Spider pose.